All right, ladies and gents, welcome to my coverage of King of Fighters 14, the latest installment of the King of Fighters franchise. It's been quite a many years since King of Fighters 13 was released, and uh, I'm a huge fan of the King of Fighters series. I grew up playing in arcades, all the way from 94, which was the original game, all the way through 98, and then they didn't have them in my local arcade anymore, so I ended up starting playing games like 99, 2000 and stuff on PC for a while via emulators and stuff. And then I didn't really play the series for a while, but I know a lot of the backstory of a lot of the characters in the series. So when I heard this was coming out, I said, I gotta check this out, definitely. Um, now here's the thing. First King of Fighters ever to actually be rendered in 3D, and the graphics aren't great. I already can tell you right now, they're not the best, but I've, you know, just messing a little bit around with the gameplay, it seems like it plays almost like classic King of Fighters, seriously. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is before I even do anything in the game, I'm gonna do the tutorial, even though... Generally, I probably understand 95% of the stuff in the game. Number one, I want to refresh myself. I obviously want to refresh the viewers who maybe have not seen King of Fighters gameplay before. But I also want to uh, see if there's anything new that's been added to the game. So let's play through the tutorial once and let's see what's new to the series. Here we go. So, here's all the basic moves. They're going to basically walk you through them, I guess. And then I guess attack moves. Yup, see that? They're going to teach you about everything. Alright, so let's go back. Let's do all the basics, right? Let's go through them all. Welcome to the tutorial. I'm the great champion Antonov from the first generation of King of Fighters. Uh, he wasn't in the original game, by the way, so I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe it's part of the story of this. I don't know. You'll be receiving this lecture from me personally. That means you'll probably be super strong by the time it's over. You don't think it's really the... I'm the first generation champion? My strength is talked about a lot in story mode. Make sure to check it out after. There you go. Well, I will be checking that out. I'm getting off topic. All right, let's begin. All right, moving forward and backward. Pretty obvious here. Complete. Complete. All right. Crouching different directions. Basic crouch, back, down back, Complete. down forward. Okay, and yes, blocking lows down back, of course. Inputting forward two times causes you to dash. Inputting back is a back step. Let's see how this looks in this game. Here's your dash, okay. And back step is a hop. But King of Fighters back steps never had invincibility frames. I don't know if they will in this game. I guess we'll find out. Because you can continue dashing for as long as you hold forward on the second press. Okay. When you want to get close to your opponent in a swift movement, use dash, of course. Alright, here's the jumps. Jump back. Oh, I wanted to do all three, I guess not. Obviously, you know, jumping is pretty simple. Small jump. Now, here's the little jumps. Just tap and release really quickly. You do little jumps or small jumps. Those are tricky because they can allow you to land quicker, quicker jump attacks, and people don't defend as quickly against them a lot of times. Sometimes they can lead to good, quick cross-ups. Alright. Medium jump is down and then up. Oh, shit, yeah. There it is. So it's basically a, a small jump, but it's a further version of the small jump. And it says you can also do it while dashing. Alright. Now hold it briefly and then up for a then hold, Okay. Wow, so that's the super jump. So if you hold it, you get the super jump. If you just tap it, you get the medium jump. Okay. Try guarding against your opponent's attacks by holding back. Complete. Here we go. You can block ground attacks, jump attacks, and more with standing guard, but you cannot guard against any low attacks like crouching heavy kick. Right. Try guarding against your opponent's attacks by holding down back. Of course. And <laughs> he did it before I was even ready. Complete. You jerk. Our uh, crouching guard protect protects against most ground attacks, but it cannot protect against jump attacks and certain command moves. Right. Guard crush. All right. So here's a uh, something about the game that I need to learn. Guard crush. The blue gauge on the top of the screen is the guard crush meter, or, or they call it the guard gauge. Your guard gauge goes down from guarding against opponents' attacks, and you go into guard crush when it reaches zero. Try to pull, pull, pull. Try to put you. What? Try to put you, your opponent, into guard crush. That's a typo. Try to put you, your opponent, into guard crush. All right. There it is. 
After a guard crush, your opponent is defenseless and can't move or guard. You have a chance to do a lot of damage when your opponent is in a guard crush state. Very nice. You can approach or move away from your opponent while evading their attacks with emergency evasion. It's a uh, light punch and light kick together, or if you hit forward, it'll go forward. Backwards will roll backward. There we go. Emergency evasion is an all-around effective way to evade your opponent's attacks, but be careful because you can't evade throws. All right. Just before you fall down, you can do a quick recovery by tapping Light Punch and Light Kick together. Okay. Let's do it. Aha! With a recovery, you can stand back up quickly. You'll get hit more if you stay down, so try to use your recovery as much as possible. Guard Cancel Emergency Evasion uses one power gauge and allows you to safely escape from a guard position. So. In Street Fighter terms, this would have been called an Alpha Counter, where you, out of a, a block, you use a Super Meter to do a reversal. In this game, it's not necessarily a reversal, you just get out of the way. So, here, I'll show you. Yeah, you block, and then you press Light Punch and Light Kick, or Forward and Light Punch and Light Kick. Here we go. You can also do it backward to do a Guard Cancel Backward Emergency Evasion. There it is. Oh, they wanted me to do a backward one to begin with. Oh, they want me to do a forward one. There you go. You're invincible throughout guard cancel emergency evasion. This allows you to escape from your opponent's offense safely. Okay. Guard cancel blowback is a counterattack move from a guarding position. All right, this sounds like an alpha counter from the Street Fighter series. So this one you do heavy punch and heavy kick. Gotcha. Ready? Go. Aha. Uh -huh. Guard Cancel Blowback is a defensive move that allows you to counter your opponent's attack safely. Use this if you're sick of getting attacked by your opponent. Light attacks don't do much damage to your opponent, but they also don't leave you open to attack. Try using your standing, crouching, and jumping light attacks. Alright. It didn't even hit. It didn't even hit. <laughs> That's probably his cross-up. Light kick. Crouching Light Kick is a low attack that cannot be blocked by your opponent's standing guard. It's a good move to use when you want to throw your opponent off guard. But a cheap trick like that won't work on a champion like me. Oh my god. The guy's totally not full of himself. Heavy attacks do a lot of damage to your opponent, but they also leave your, your very open to attack. Try using standing, crouching, and jumping heavy attacks. Complete. Didn't hit. Complete. 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 Damn, that was good range. Heavy attacks leave you vulnerable for a longer time, but their reach and power is better than light attacks. The trick is learning how to use your heavy attack and light attacks properly. Of course. The blowback attack does a lot of damage to your opponent and can knock them back when it hits. This is a staple of the King of Fighters series, and it's actually one of the moves that stayed in the series, but kind of other games tried it and kind of didn't really go with it. It's pressing heavy a kick and heavy punch together. It's a super duper strong attack. Ready, go. Go. Oh! See, it knocks your opponent away. Or, oh, there it'll usually knock them down if it hits. It's the most effective to use a blowback when you want to knock your opponent down or push them into a corner. Okay. Some characters can perform command moves with set combinations of directional buttons and attacks. So here you go, use forward and light kick for the gay shiki gofu yo. Down forward and heavy kick for the 88 Shiki, and down and heavy punch while jumping for the Gay Shiki Naraku Otoshi. Here we go. That's probably his overhead, I'm thinking. That kick it looks like an overhead, and it could probably combo. Let's see. Yeah, if you're close enough, a combo. So the 88 Shiki is this this uh, stretched out sweep move that you can combo after. In fact, they can combo right after. I knew that. Okay, now while jumping down a heavy punch. I missed it there, but sometimes you can use it as a cross-up. All right. Command moves include mid-attacks that can't be blocked by your opponent's crouching guard, as well as sliding low attacks. Check out which command moves you have by looking at the command list. You can throw by holding forward or backward and pressing heavy punch or heavy kick. There you go. So here's forward throw. It's heavy punch. That did not work. There we go. And then backwards throw. Whoop. Slams in the other direction. 
Throws cannot be blocked by guarding. For an opponent who's always guarding, look for an opening and do a throw. I hear there are some fighters who can do air throws. Oh, okay. So some characters will have an air throw. It's good to know. You can protect against your opponent's throws with a counter throw. So this is basically a throw break or a tech, they used to call it tech hit in Street Fighter. And this one they're calling it counter throw. When you see yourself getting thrown, press forward or back, plus heavy punch or heavy kick, and you'll counter throw. Mm, a little too slow. Still too slow. Wow, it's got to be really fast. Can't get it. Wow, I cannot get one. Wow, what the? I'm just going to hold forward. Wow, dude, that is so hard. That is one of the most strict tech throws I've ever seen in a fighting game. You got to be really fast. You know what that means? Throws are going to be very powerful in this game. Damn. Okay, so be careful of command throws, because counter throws won't work on those. That guy Diamond's command throw, Tenchiki, or Tenchi Gaishi, is a good example. Also, you can't protect against air throws with counter throws either. Right. You can use one power gauge to start the mode. It's called Max Mode. Okay, let's see what this is. During Max Mode, you can use EX Special Moves that are even more powerful than regular Special Moves. Wow, okay, this is something new. So, Light Kick and Heavy Punch together. Okay, there it is. The maximum gauge will slowly decline while in max mode, and maximum will end when the gauge reaches zero. So all your moves will become EX moves, or do you have to do like double button pushes? I don't know. I didn't really explain it yet. Okay, here we go. You can even start max mode right after hitting or making your opponent guard with a regular move or a command move. Try hitting your opponent and then pressing it. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, you cancel it to a dash. All right, let's see. Activating quick will reduce the maximum gauge more than a normal activation, but allows you to cancel the opening left by a previous attack and move on to the next immediately. So you can either do a, an extended combo, right? Or if you're doing a hit string, it's unsafe if you cancel into that and then you'll probably stay on the attack. Yeah, exactly. When you want to keep attacking, activate quick. Approaching your opponent and inputting light punch repeatedly will start a particular character's rush. What is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I didn't know anything about this. Huh. For a champion like me, Rush is the most basic of basic moves used in battle. Use this move a lot until you're used to battling. So, basically what it is, it's an auto combo if you mash light punch. Well, it's probably not going to be as effective if you use a manual combo. Huh. When you have one or more power gauges and activate Rush, the last attack will change from a special move into a super special move. So you see, now I have a power gauge. All right, let's see here. Huh. Okay. Rushing during max mode, when you have one or more super gauges, will change your last attack from a super special move into a max super special move. Stay aware of your power gauge while you fight, and you'll be a step closer to becoming a champion. Huh. Pressing specified directional buttons and attack buttons is called a command input. Right, to do special moves. So here you go. They're telling you here, do his Shiki Aragami special move. That was not it. That was it. Each character has various special moves. It'd be smart to check the variations of your special moves and commands on the command list. I recommend going into training mode if you want to check out your moves. If you don't train, you'll never be able to catch up to me no matter how many times you try. Properties of your special moves change depending on which attack button you press last in the command input. After inputting a Dragon Punch motion, press Light Punch for a special move. It's called the 100 Shiki Oniyaki. And after inputting that, press Heavy Punch to perform special move 100 Shiki Oniyaki Heavy. So here we go. And now here's the heavy version. The properties of your special moves change, power, speed, distance, trajectory, and properties, depending on whether you use light or heavy attacks. To be a real fighter, no one to switch between light and heavy special moves, of course. EX special moves are powered up special moves that are performed by using small amounts of your max mode gauge. After starting max mode, input... Okay, so I want to do max mode, then do those moves. 
Oh, it's both buttons, excuse me. There, it's both punch buttons, I see. Just like Street Fighter, it's like doing a regular EX move in that in Street Fighter. The EX special move attacks are powerful, but they can't be done when your maximum gauge is at zero, so plan ahead like I do in business. <laughs> Super special moves are powerful special moves that are performed by using one power gauge. So here you go, it's when he's super, it's called 182 Shiki. It's the one where he dashes forward with the flame, I believe. Oh no, this is the punch combo. Just like with special moves, some super special moves also change properties depending on whether you press a light or heavy attack button. Okay. Max super special moves are even stronger than super special moves and are performed by using two power gauges. So press two buttons together for that. Alright, here we go. Oh, nice! That's cool. If you're already in max mode, you can perform these moves by using all of your remaining max gauge plus one power gauge. So basically, it only uses one power to do, but you're gonna waste all of your max mode. Gotcha. Max super special moves are all extremely powerful. Some deal huge damage or let you attack while invincible. Aim to use them to counter your opponent's attacks or to finish combos. Alright. Climax Super Special Moves are way stronger than Max Super Special Moves and are performed by using three power gauges. So these are all unique. These are probably your, your most powerful moves. So it's two quarter circles back plus two punches. Alright, here we go. Look at this. Yes! Woo! Kind of like doing an Ultra in Street Fighter 4. Hitting your opponent with a Climax Super Special Move is a cool way to turn the match around with one super strong move. Yours may be cool, but my moves are a zillion times cooler. <laughs> a Super Cancel is about canceling your special move into a super special move. Try to do a 182 Shiki by super canceling a 100 Shiki Oniyaki Heavy. So you input the... and then you do the super motion, right. There it is. You can hit your opponent with a lot of damage by using super cancels. Try to use them when the time's right. Okay. Advanced canceling is about canceling your super special move into a max super special move. Try to do a max Ura 108 Shiki Orochinagi by advanced canceling. So they actually want me. Holy shit. I'm gonna be canceling one super into another. Huh. I'm not sure the timing. Hmm. Hmm. Let me get him out of the corner. Hmm. This is back and then forth. This is the other one. Yeah. Huh. Huh, I'm not sure I'm supposed to hit this. It sucks because I doubt they're going to play a tutorial of it so I can see what it looks like. Let me restart it. Oh, I wanted him to I wanted him explain again. He's not explaining. Fuck. Hmm. Maybe after the hit? Let me try it right after the hit. Ah, oh, didn't work. Not sure how to do this. Hmm. Again, I wish they would show you like a way to do it so I would understand it. Hmm. 
trying at different times. It's not working. No? There's gotta be like a trick to the timing, but without knowing the timing, I don't know if I could do this. Hmm. You would think you could do it in the middle of the combo, but it doesn't work. Nope. Damn it. Oh, wait a minute! You gotta use two punches! Oh my god, I've been hitting one punch the whole time! Okay, hold on. Got it! So you hit once and then you can super cancel into it. Okay, I just needed to know the timing and I guessed correctly finally after all those attempts. Alright, there you go. You can't do an advanced cancel out of the same move. In other words, you can't advance cancel from a 182 Shiki into a max 182 Shiki. So what he's saying is you have to do one super that your character has into their second super. And you have to go up a level by doing double, like both buttons instead of just one uh, attack button. Okay, now I understand it. it took a little while, I got it. <laughs> Climax cancels allow you to cancel your super special move or max super special move into a climax super special. Try to do an aura 180 108 Shiki Orochinagi by climax canceling. Okay. Ha! Ah, look at that! Wow, that's cool. That was nice. Use a Climax Cancel to turn the tables on your opponent instantly by doing near-fatal damage. That's why even I can't be careless, even though I'm amazing. So basically, you could be losing an entire match, but if you have full supers, for like four or five supers, you could do... Yeah, you could do your freaking... Oh! Instant Reversal Super! Oh, cancel it to the final finisher super, you lose. <laughs> oh, you got so strong I can hardly recognize you. Look, I had a trophy for it. Your face looks like you might even be able to beat me right now, but there's no way you're anywhere close to being as strong as me, the champion. I'm a zillion times stronger after all, but if you still want to take on the challenge, come at me with all you've got and take this champion belt. I'll be waiting in story mode. Alright, cool. So that's the tutorial of King of Fighters 14. It's very, very similar to the previous King of Fighters games. The only things that are different are the full-on super cancels. That's different, and that max mode is a little different, having EX special moves. But, alright, so that's not too bad. Okay, I think now, I'm going to check out the other modes of the game.